Circle of Jerks è una produzione multimediale digitale di Rayman. Il nostro conduttore principale è quasi morto due volte, quindi devi ascoltarlo perché potrebbe essere il suo ultimo spettacolo. Questo non cambia davvero nulla, sono ancora degli idioti e diranno cose per farti incazzare. Si consiglia la discrezione dell'ascoltatore. Grazie Elisabetta mi hai salvato. What is up, everybody? It is time once again for Circle of Jerk. Welcome to the madness that is me. I am the one and only Bobby D. And with me in the studio are my fellow jerks, Brian Ryan and Steve. What's up? What's up? Wow, there's some excitement there, boys. What's going on, motherfuckers? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, that was... Uh, that was a dud start. Yeah. Can well, I re- can I redo it? Nah, dude. You know what though? Like it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a stream uh without a dud start, right? Like your first stream. I remember my first stream. Yeah. So if you guys don't know, we promised a long, long time ago that we would end up going live on Twitch. And guess what? We are live on Twitch. Uh so if you are a follower for us on iTunes, Stitcher, any of those places that you find if you found us on Patreon. We're going to be doing our shows live on Twitch now every other Thursday at the minimum. We might do more. Who I, knows? I think we do more. You want to do more? I would want to do more. Why do you want to do more? I think that, and now, Bob, you know from, from, from experience that I think Twitch is an untapped uh, market for podcasts. I feel like our production quality and our audio is Probably better than eighty five percent of the podcasts that do it in their you know their bathroom. Yeah, because we're yes, we're not in our yeah, we're not in our bathroom. We're not in as our you bathroom. Guys can see. Um, and uh, you and taking I know how poops. Yes, taking poops, <laughs> and you know uh, better than most uh, that you know we can we can do pretty well here. So I would like to do more. I think you know I would like to think we're funny. You, uh, you hope we're funny. I, I hope we're funny. I hope we're funny enough to where we might get be jeopardy of getting booted off Twitch. <laughs> that's what that's the goal. <laughs> we can, can, can we get canceled? Can we get canceled on we Twitch? We want to start right now. Uh, <laughs> oh God, here we go. Um, uh, let's not start right now because Mike would have a heart attack on me. Um, <laughs> because you know, that's uh, he he's put a lot of effort in and to get us booted up in here as he's running around the studio right now trying to figure everything out. So we. We do our show again. You can go to patreon.com slash Rayman Digital if you want to hear the audio versions first. If you're here on the video side, again, thank you. Thank you very much. We will be here. And speaking of heart attacks, I think I started our first show telling about how I almost died. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. You're just on a roll right now. I, I know because I almost died again. That's why we're kind of late getting back on to the normal. Um, show routine you know we we usually do these every other week and i had to call off um because my heart went into afib magically Uh, okay so so (laughs) just so you guys know like i was there when that happened and in bed with yes yeah we were he he, he afib because i took my shirt off (laughs) (laughs) yeah he was like oh my god them titties i was like oh my god this grill is on top of me (laughs) (laughs) um i i you look like an asian scroll with a pelt on (laughs) I I was sitting on the bench. We were at softball, and he's like, "Dude, look at this!" And he shows me his watch, and it's like going out of control. Like it looked like it looked like uh, Brian will get this joke. It looked like in uh, Fast and Furious when the manifold was about to explode off the car, oh, and the fr- yeah, that's what it, it was just going f- crazy, dude. His watch was like lit up like a Christmas tree. Well, yeah, it, and that's the thing is that it was scary to say the least. Um, and I went to bed that night thinking that everything was fine, that I was going to recover. And I woke up that morning, and my watch screamed at me that I was in AFib over and over and over again throughout the night. How many uh, notifications did you get? I had three notifications that my heart went into AFib um, continuously throughout the night. I was nervous, 
and also like doubting it because it's technology. Like, uh, how how can this four hundred dollar watch right here tell me things that thousands of dollars worth of medical equipment tell me in the thing? So of course I get up and I start googling it and I'm doing the test again. You're still in AFib, googling it, doing AFib. Okay, now on the spectrum, Steve, who I know had done research on this stuff, I text him. I was like, hey, bro, how accurate is this shit? <laughs> Yo, you should go. Uh, what do you mean? No, you should go. All right, whatever. And I'm still not in the, like, I'm still in that whole bullshit. There's nothing wrong with me. That's kind of called, attitude. That's yeah. called denial. Yeah, well, th yeah, that's a, isn't that a river in Egypt? Uh, uh, yes, and I was floating down it on my fucking <laughs> tube. <laughs> like a salt river. Yeah, just, just going at it, like not <laughs> giving a shit. Um, so I went, and this is how like weird I am. I didn't see the urgency in it, so I'm trying to make appointments. <laughs> I didn't see the urgency. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm saying go to urgent care. He's like, go to yeah. urgent care. Go I'm like, oh, care. let me see what urgent care has the lowest wait time. <laughs> oh, my God. I go, So I finally make an appointment. I go to urgent care, and they're like, hey, if you're an AFib, you're going to have to go to the ER. You should go now. Yeah, I'm not an AFib. Just do it. $220 later, I'm in my car driving to the emergency room. <laughs> $220 oh my later. God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, I drive. Uh, by the way, first I drive home. Um, oh, you, yeah. Because I need to look up waiting times oh my <laughs> on God. ERs because I'm I'm fine. Like, I feel yeah, fine. There's yeah, nothing fine. wrong with me. I almost had a heart attack. No, did, you, did you pick up some ice cream on the way to the ER? No. But <laughs> He's he eating the, a he cone the, when he goes <laughs> <laughs> uh, Even better, a big <laughs> um, I had uh, my Harley is a huge Billie Eilish fan. Okay. I had signed up for being verified fan so I could buy her tickets for her first concert. That went on sale sometime between the time that I went to the ER. I mean, I went to urgent care and I went to the ER. I went home and bought tickets to make sure my daughter got her concert tickets before I ever <laughs> um, you're went doing, to the. You're just doing your fatherly duties. Yeah, yeah like if I die, at least dad. she'll get to go to yeah, Billie Eilish. Real. What a good Ladies dad. Ladies and gentlemen, father, yeah. father, father, of, the father of the year. year. Thank Woo. you. There it is. Thank you. Biggest bitch I know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So while I'm waiting for my tickets to process, I'm also doing searches on the ER, seeing if I could check in early. Oh, my God. So there's early check-in for ER? Yeah, because, it, but, like, when you start putting in your symptoms, it goes, um, yeah, bro, you need to go. Nah, it's like WebMD, like you thought you had cancer or something. Like, yeah, well, the, the oh, funny I thing have is, a like, stubbed toe. You have cancer. Why are you coming here? And it's like I put in because my heart's in AFib. And they're like, uh, you can't make an appointment, and you can't make an appointment for the next 24 hours. Your ass needs to come in. Damn. They were like, nah, dude, you're coming in. Yeah, so I roll up, get my paperwork, get my car, drive down to the, the ER. I, I walk in. The lady's like, hey, what are you here for? And um, I'm like, hey, my heart's in AFib, and I show her, like, my um, EKG or whatever it is. Yeah. And she's like, um, excuse me, there is a 41-year-old male here at AFib. Boom. All from the back, all these people come rushing at me, and I'm like, oh, hi. Hi, everyone. Hi. So I spent those two days in the hospital, um, you know, dealing with it. Luckily, like, the options were... Stop your heart, restart your heart, or medication. Which one did you go for? Uh, I, 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 like, look, if it, whatever one got me out sooner, obviously, because I got shit to do. <laughs> if, if they would have told me, like, we're going to stop your heart and restart it, I would have went with that route uh, right away. But, no, they gave me the pills, and then I woke up in the morning. And, and your dick was hard. It, no. We'll, we'll get <laughs> oh, to, different we'll, pill? We'll get to it that. It wasn't yeah. the blue chew? They, it wasn't blue. The, these ones are look, look yellow, or uh Cialis. Yellow and Cialis. pink, I think. Cialis. Uh, yeah. Dude. I went with the generic brand. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Equate. Equate. equate yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the one that sponsors <laughs> NASCAR <laughs> that you can get out of the gas station. Oh, God. Horny goat weed. Y yes. <laughs> Horny goat Yeah, I've been to a lot of gas stations. Oh, that's so yikes. I, I legitimately, again, did not think anything was wrong still. And I went through the whole thing. I sat there for the day. I mean, they're waking me up every three hours. They're like, your blood pressure's high. And I firmly believe that doctors think that every patient is lying because I felt fine. I knew my heart rate was up, and I didn't understand why, but, like, there was no chest pains. There was none of this. Yeah. So the last time I went through my heart thing, I kept it close to the vest, and I didn't tell anybody. 
Um, this time, because family members got really angry at me, I went back and I texted them. I was like, hey, my heart's in AFib. I'm in the thing. I'm in the hospital. I don't know what's going on. What caused it? I don't know what's going on. Blood pressure spikes. Blah, 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 blah. Everybody's concerned. And, and look, like, you have the right to be. But at this point, like, in my life, I'm just like, this is why I do things by myself and keep my mouth shut because they had put so much stress on me during this that my blood pressure was just spiking. And I was like, I just wish my phone would go dead. But then, of course, then they would flip out because my phone was going yep, dead. Yeah, because your phone was dead, yep. So, you know, I went through all this, and, 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 and the whole experience was just weird. Now, over the last couple of weeks, I've spent a lot of time at the cardiologist. I went to my normal doctor, and if you guys are listeners from the past, like, there's no secret. I take testosterone to keep this body fucking tight. And this dick hard. Oh, God. <laughs> why, you got, why you guys say, like... Can you prove it? it oh. Honestly? TOS. Um... At this point, yeah, well, yeah, TOS. I'm, I'm not <laughs> whipping it out because I'm trying not to get us booted out. <laughs> but whatever my body went through, yeah, and whatever medication they have me on as far as beta blockers and blood thinners right now, my dick does not like super dick. I, I would I would take you super, have super dick. dick. No, I would take super dick over non-existent dick. There is no fucking drive going on right now. And really? you're talking to a dude with a two to three time masturbation that'd have it a day. Two and to three? Yeah. I damn. sit at home alone by myself a lot. And I, mean, accident- I, I mean, we've <laughs> talked about me yeah, accidentally we, jerking we, off. That's, you do it at, how, wait. while you're working. <laughs> yeah, I'm on me. You're like, you're like, yeah. So uh so yeah, the last quarter's numbers were great. He's just mid stroke. So he's like that dude on CNN that was on the Zoom call or whatever. Yeah. 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 We don't have webcams, so I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, you're good. But, but, like, the medication and everything, you know, those are the unfortunate side effects. I've been out, and, like, I, I can remember having, like, maybe a boner. Damn, your libido is just crushed. Yeah, and so I'm, like, I'm talking to the cardiologist. He's like, yo, I don't want to be on these meds anymore. I haven't actually explained to my, you know, Indian cardiologist, like, I want boners. My- <laughs> <laughs> how do you, you want the boner? You- <laughs> so the say- testosterone. How do you say that to him, like? I want the boner. So the testosterone shots not uh, enough to overcompensate for the beta blocker. Now, today I went to my primary care physician, who a- also is my TRT doctor. And you got a boner? No, no. Oh. This is going. This upset me more than anything oh, no. in my life. Oh no! I show her my labs. She's oh. scrolling is through. Is she hot? Uh, no. Oh okay. I mean, she's I just getting, we get, you got to paint a picture yo, for us. He gets you rock it? fucking hard. <laughs> <laughs> just a big veiny fucking bastard. No, no. So we go through my numbers, and, no. and in there, like, uh, so testosterone therapy. For those who don't know, your blood ends up thickening because of the testosterone, and every so often, I have to donate blood to right. You know, kind of restart. Think of it as like a, an engine and car oil, and y- you have to put it. You have to put F- new oil in there. Fifteen W thirty, baby. Yeah. <laughs> um, she looks at it, and then she looks at all my test results and goes, "Huh, you haven't had a a, a, a your blood drawn in like four months." Okay. No, I haven't. And I ask, and your nurses tell me it's not my time. Well, it should have been drawn because your hemoglobin or whatever thing is high. That could have caused you to go into fucking AFib. No. Wow. I went into AFib because my doctor didn't do her fucking due diligence to make sure that my blood wasn't too thick going through my heart. So now I am going through thousands of dollars. I am going through all these tests. I have to get an MRI. I have to do a... uh, a stress test on my heart. I'm going through all this because somebody didn't do their fucking job. Did, did, so, did you lay into at her? At least it wasn't. I just, w- like, look. Um, Sorry, Brian. M- uh, my dad has always taught me don't react on emotion because then you just become, like, you sound like a kid. Right, you sound like an asshole. So I just kept my mouth shut. Yeah. Uh, minding my business. And then I'm going to wait for these 30 days to go through. And then I'm going to be like, here are my bills. What did you guys do to me? Well, uh, you don't necessarily have to be an asshole about it, but you already hit the nail on the head. You you have been going to this physician for quite some time, paying them <laughs> to <laughs> to perform a service 
that now has suddenly uh, jeopardized your life. And I mean, look, <laughs> your life's a big deal, but really the biggest deal is you're not getting a boner. That's the biggest deal. Like, your life, eh, boners, those are more important than, like, you know, some AFib. And, like, dude, you don't get a boner. Yeah. Like, your, your libido's <laughs> toast. Yeah, and it's and I'm too young for that shit. Yeah, you got to get a boner. If you're going to whack it two or three times a day, you got to get hard. You need to get, you need to go by the convenience store or the gas station on the way home and get those over-the-counter. Yeah, the horny goat weed, dude. The horny goat weed. Yeah, trust me, man. Like, <laughs> trust you, me. I well, what's your, what's guys, I, guys, I, you guys I, do know Bob's nickname, right? Like, Yeah, if, yeah. I, 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 I've been Googling the shit out of it, and I was just like... Blue Chew, dog. <laughs> is, that, is that what I need? That's the new shit, I guess. That's the new you shit. You guess, you know. You no, guess. Dude, I don't. You know, don't lie. You gotta get the high octane. There's commercials on it all the time on Instagram. <laughs> on Blue Chew, check it out. So what do you like, what do you tell on your phone to get those ads? Blue Chew. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get an ad on my Instagram we're, now. We're to buy it. <laughs> we all are gonna get it now, thanks. <laughs> Great. Thanks, asshole. <laughs> so. You need it, motherfucker. I don't need it. <laughs> are you talking about me? Yeah, blue chew. Dude, I will fuck you limp dick right here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just going to be mash. I will just push that noodle into that it's fucking lifesaver. <laughs> it's, it's like be a this, broken dude. ass it's glizzy, just, It's just dude. like a, a <laughs> limp dick just hitting a hole, dude. dude. Yeah, I will oh. fucking tuck a ball in there. I don't give a shit. Oh. At least, like, tape a pencil around it or something. <laughs> make sure, a number, it's, make a sure it's number two or you can't pass the test. Yeah, then you failed, bitch. Oh, my God. So, with that... What a segue. Yeah. I uh I don't know, it's been a lot. I would guess. So I I if you guys are fans of this show, you know over the years or over the year, because we've been doing it about yeah, a year about now. About a year now. That we've done roast me. Uh, <laughs> it started with Brian, it went to Ryan, yep. it went to Steve. And we've left me. I haven't even checked mine in a while. To the end. Well, guess what? We it's your turn. Now, it's baby. it's my turn because I almost ended. Like, if I would have died and not got roasted by the internet, I don't know how I would have ever <laughs> so done lived <laughs> with myself. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, dumb. exactly. So that's fucking great. I, I I feel like we need to do this for the next show. Okay. Now. We've all taken our chances at trying to write our own, but I think collectively we are better as a group. And we should... So we're like Voltron. Yeah, like, can I form the head? Uh, yes, you can like, be the head. It sounds like you're going to have to. Bob can't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does that make... I think Steve could be the green sissy lion. That's the Wasn't that oh, the wait, sissy man, dude? Finn. Come on. I don't know the names of them, dude. He I'm says, not come on. Come on, man. <laughs> I think you're right, though, Bob. By our powers combined, we are fucking Voltron. Yes. I thought it was Captain Planet. Oh, so that, oh. <laughs> we need to... <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> we need to write my roast me. Oh, boy. So what we will do is we'll go around the room. Okay. We're going to do this, like, Mad Lib style. Oh, my God. Of... Are, uh, who's taking the notes? I am. Yeah, oh, Bob's okay, got them. Okay. Uh, if I could figure out what keyboard to push... Make sure I didn't stop recording on the other things. There's so many keyboards here now. A, yeah, you, you. I'm gonna put that one on the ground. <laughs> now, if I can figure out what mouse to go through. So I am going to start the roast me. Okay. I am going to start it off by, I am a balding podcaster <laughs> <laughs> with a heart condition and a limp dick and a limp dick. <laughs> All right, right. There's the there's hey. there's the first contributor. Um, Man, I, I'm trying to think of something good. Hey, I I would keep it short and sweet. I, I'm a balding podcaster. Dot dot dot. Uh, my heart went into AFib. Now my dick won't get hard. God, that's actually. I mean, that's pretty gold. My heart went into AFib, <laughs> and now my dick won't get hard. You got to put your age too. Oh wait, I didn't do that. Some I people. I don't think. I don't think you. Have I don't think to. age matters. They'll look at me and they'll be like, "Look at all. They'll go balding, heart condition, Peter. Don't worry. <laughs> limp dick." <laughs> Yeah, that's a good point. Be like he's fifty-eight. He's got to be fifty-eight, <laughs> right? I, you got to add something sweet on the end. Obviously, you've got you know like dick won't get hard. <laughs> still try like still try to whack off with limp dick. And I still try to whack off with my limp dick. Yep, <laughs> that should be good. <laughs> 
Yeah, I think that should work. That's that's solid. I think that'll get you a good reaction. What f- the, here's the question. So so obviously your your intro or like what your roast me says to begin with is a good start. But what photo are you gonna use? Well, that's the real. Well, we're question. just gonna take a photo right now. Oh, oh are we really? Yeah. We'll can, just actually. We'll- can I use the one of you when you look like you're about to die? From the one chip because I have that photo. Yeah, but I have to write in like. Oh, it has me. to have the roast. Me like thing. I have to God do all that that stuff. Do you have your account made so we can make your? Uh... My uh, like I've had Reddit forever, oh, so okay, we're good. Okay. Um, there's no, um, hopefully there's no uh, delay in getting this started. So we we will get that posted. So my thing will be me holding my sign. I am a balding podcaster. My heart went in AFib and I still try to whack off even with my limp dick. <laughs> I feel like that's the cue for the curb your enthusiasm music credits like at the end. Like that whole sentence cut the credits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so psyched for this, dude. So we will bust that out next week or next time we are on and we will go through and read what the internet has to say about my heart condition, my bald ass, and my limp dick. <laughs> God. Oh. And I do this voluntarily. Well, we all did. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I think, honestly, though, so, so, Bob, obviously yours is not on there yet, no. right? But out of the three of us, I still think Brian's... Oh, by a landslide. By a landslide beats, beats Steve and I's. Oh, yeah. yeah. So... We're gonna. We need to get some pretty good responses. Yeah, I think yours should. Yeah, no, no, without a doubt. So now, uh, we are manly men. At least some of us are. Yeah. <laughs> you guys can decide who's not the manly <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, the, the there's room. there's cameras now, guys. You can see. Well, they well. No, no, no. Steve, Steve, Steve pulls off the alpha sometimes. I'll, I'll give you that. On, Just because you're dainty looking doesn't mean you won't. Yeah, you look like you know the what's his. You face? won't wrestle men. Yeah, you're not gonna wrestle men. So I, I'm not though. gonna touch a man if I can if I can help uh, it. Liar. <laughs> have you seen liar. all? Touch me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys seen all these like men spa treatment <sighs> things that are going on? Yes. Yes, Spe- yes I have. Special spa oh. treatments. Targeted specifically at men. Yes, where they they roll your face and like trim your beard and do like different waxings and stuff for men. Steve's I, like, I, I, I don't, I don't understand. I've, the, I've never had a, a wax or I've gone in and had no, a we're, shave. We're, we're just asking, have you like you seen it? Like I have not seen any men targeted. Are, men are doing all of that now. Look, I go get pedicures once no, in a no, while. No, 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 we're, no. Pedicures don't really. Count. No, that, that okay. that's fine. I'm talking about these guys stick. What looks to be a chewed up Tootsie Roll pop up their nose. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you've seen that. I've seen that on Instagram. That's a, I've seen that, yeah. yeah. Guys going in and getting the, the fade and then getting the trim on the... Yeah, you know, and the then edging. they're knocking out their nose hairs. Correct, yeah, I've seen that. So uh, I'm, I tell Brian this, and Brian, <laughs> in all his infinite knowledge, goes, yo, you can die from waxing your nose. Like, that ain't right. No, you can die from plucking your nose. Wait, yeah. what? Yup. So I'm like, and he's like, I read it on a website. And I was like, yo, you didn't read it on a website. You read <laughs> it on one of those like weird fucking things. So of course I go, look, strange but true, the unexpected dangers of plucking your nose hair. And this is an article from 2016. So because you, your nose hair, whether you guys know it or not, is the last line of defense between Bacteria. things in your brain. And it uses it as a filter to go up and protects it. And if you pluck or trim or wax your nose hairs, those are gone, which opens up your pores, which could lead to infections like meningitis and staph. Fantastic. Oh, I mean, look, man. The area on your face in the medical community is named the Triangle of Death. It says medical outcomes like paralysis or even death. All right, like uh, let's, meningitis. <sighs> so, I mean, I've trimmed some nose hairs. I mean, look, it's no. It's look, no, I, I, look, I look. If they're sticking out like on the edge, yeah, yeah, it's a little trim. I'll just, yeah, I'll I'm yeah, not a little yanker, a little yanker. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm not yeah. trying to be a fucking like party streamers at this point. Yeah, you know where I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> like when I like little, sneeze, you got a little nose hair trimmer, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, just, I mean, like I just, I just, you know, you just get the ones that come out the end, right? Yeah. So like, but but I just, 
I see these videos because they always they'll pop up on like Instagram. Right, right. And there's dudes like 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 Bob said, like oh. a lollipop up the old Noski. Or and the then, ear. Or, or the ear. I've seen the ear one. And it's like, uh, dude, wh- why? Like, you could just take a little fucking thing and just and done. Just yank it on one. Hurts like a motherfucker. It's instant eye water. Yeah. So to go in there and do the whole. Fuck no. Like, Hell no. Yeah. I mean, I'll try it. Why no. would you Wait, try what? it? Like, they would have to take out half your mustache. Yeah, your stash is gone, homie. No, dude, I just cover it like this. I don't think that's going to work. I don't think that's going to work. I mean, your stash so, is pretty vibrant. I don't so know if, if I bring in chewed up Tootsie Roll like lollipops, <laughs> shove it up your nose next week, I can yank them out. Uh, yeah, 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 I'm uh, waiting for the verbal com- yeah, like verbal. Like, some, like I can it. see you nodding, sir. Yes. Like we're on video now. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yes, I would. I would allow it. We can lay him down. But on if the I couch. die, I'm fucking haunting you forever. <laughs> <laughs> I get through AFib and Brian dies from waxing his nose. <laughs> <laughs> what a bitch! Yeah. I just like real look, manly. I, I understand. Like, look, I like I like a, a nice pedicure every now and then. Dude, that shit feels good. I, 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 any guy that's like afraid to go do that, like, trust go me, do it. homie, that shit is awesome. When she starts rubbing up on your legs and shit, foot massage. Leg oh massage. god, it's the amazing. Sh- the only thing I don't like is the sugar the, scrub on the calves. Yeah. Yes. The Ooh. only thing that I don't like is the grater thing. I don't let him do the cheese grater. Does it thing. tickle? No, no, it's just, it's just <laughs> Ryan kicks him in the head. <laughs> Boom! Just front kicks this dude, little like, Asian it's lady. Like, it's like a weird phobia. Like it, I just don't just, like it, dude. It, it just it, it freaks it, me it out. Tickles. Uh, it, summertime just, is when I need it the most because being in the pool all the yeah, time. Yeah, your your feet, feet are dry. Crack, that makes yeah. sense. But like I just I, I I don't have them do that. But otherwise, that shit's bomb, dude. Like I, I if and yeah, I've even had a manicure. Like I've had them. Yeah. Obviously, I'm not letting them put like fucking you know finger pa- paint on my fingernails. But like finger paint. Finger paint. Yeah. Finger, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you six? What, don't worry don't about. Don't you put the finger paint on my finger? <laughs> don't worry about how old I am. Um, uh, it's called nail polish. Nail polish. I, I, I'm sorry. I was blanking on what I wanted to say. No, that's fine. But that's right. I've had them, dude. That shit is awesome. It su- feels super good. But as far as like some of these weird, like you know, the the waxing and stuff. Like, look, I under, I'm a hairy man. Like I'm a man. Like I got I got some back hair. I keep it under control. You know I don't have a floor. motherfucker. You got a sweater under that shirt. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's not that bad. I'm not as bad as Bob. Bob's a hairy man. Oh wait, can I do that on Twitch? <laughs> no, I don't think so. No nipple. No I'm, nipple. I'm, I was like, wait, I don't know what the rules are. Yeah, like, no, no if nipple. I start nipple, I can stay nipple, Look, right? What, you guys, you guys think I got these tattoos because I like, you know, I'm the outsider. I got these tattoos because they black my arm out. And you can't see my arm hair. Like when you roll my sleeve up, like you can't see the shit that I have. <laughs> on my Unfortunately, shoulder. it also looks like they're out of focus when your arm hair gets long. <laughs> I mean, yeah, <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this, but Ryan was in uh, Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. I was, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was an extra in yeah. the background. He was the gorilla in the zoo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did they go to the zoo in that one? No, it was uh, extended cut. Oh, yeah, it was one of the only deleted, released in de- Taiwan. Deleted scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and Jonathan Taylor Thomas. That is the most random, dude. JTT, bro. Dude, back which, in the day, which I don't even he know. Fucked what, so many chicks. Wait, dude. is he in no, any what, of those movies? What? No, it's no. a joke. No, which one? Which which Home Improvement kid was in it though? Oh, it's in the beginning of the movie. It's uh, the older brother. No, not the older, the middle brother. Zachary Ty Bryan. Yes, yes. He, he had to <laughs> act like you were questioning oh, it. You he can, knew it right off the bat. You, you can. Uh, uh, oh, you I can read the movies. brochure. <laughs> yeah, you, that's the my one of my favorite lines from that movie. This has got a Borla exhaust and 500 horsepower. Oh, you can read the brochure. That's cute. So. Anyways, sorry. Um, <laughs> Yo, I will say back real quick on this, the man, the grooming, I guess. You're not going to do you it. Call it. No, I'm not getting my nose done. That's what I thought. No, but tomorrow. Uh-oh. 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 Yeah, tomorrow I am going to get a dermaplaned. What's that? Uh, that's where. Uh, they take a razor They blade fuck you on a plane. <laughs> I signed up for the wrong thing. Though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So wait, they do a razor to your what? They take a razor blade to your face and scrape off like all the, all the dead, dead skin. skin and yeah. yeah, that shit's gotta hurt though. I don't know. I'll find how, out wait, how did you sign up for this? <laughs> Instagram. Bingo. Well, no, some hot chick posted like, Instagram. I'll do it. Yes. Bingo. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yes. Hey, let me. Hold on. Let, let me. No, hold you on. heard this the bingo. Is, okay. Hold no, on. No. Yeah. Let, you, let, you, let me. Let me. Plan you could start off anything with Brian with hot girl Instagram. Well, hold on. I'm gonna. I, I know exactly what this is. Brian follows some hot. Just. Say yes as I'm saying this. You follow some hot chick. Yes. She does this for a living or it's a side thing? Living, yes. Okay. And you signed up with her so you could get an appointment with her so you could get close to her. Yes. And (laughs) you're hoping that she likes large bearded men. With mullets and overalls. And overalls. So you could possibly try to hit on her. During the appointment. 
Subtly, though. So, well, right. Obviously, subtly. Of subtly. course. Yeah, yeah. Subtly. Yeah, obviously, course. subtly. Hey, yeah, why the fuck as, else? As she's scraping his face and he asks, do you scrape foreskin? Okay, so, okay, so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so my foreskin needs a little scraping. I'm there not might sure be some dead skin There's down there. It got snipped skin. a long I'm time ago. Have you check that out. So, okay, so. Okay, all right, fair enough. Now, does this girl know you exist besides your her appointment? Does she follow you does back? Does she follow you back? That's a good question. Uh, well, you should probably. Una memento. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I just keep answering while you look that up. Um, okay. okay. Uh, is she, I know Brian's type. Is she, she got fat ass. Yes. Is brown got, hair, brown, brown hair, eyes. Brown or black hair? <laughs> brown or black hair? Brown, black, okay. black. Brown just, eyes. Just, just, just give the ethnicity. Mexican. Is she Latino? Latino. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, <laughs> I love that the fact that you you're doing. Is this. she on psychotic meds? <laughs> TBD. I'll, I'll find out. <laughs> uh, how much are you paying for this? Fifty bucks. That's okay, not, that's, that's not, not horrible. Not that's not horrible. He no, only not has how, a third of a face. So, so how, <laughs> yeah. that's what I was gonna. That I'm was not my gonna pay one fifty for. Is yeah. she doing? Is she obviously? She, is she doing your forehead and your cheeks? Obviously. Yes. Uh, do they do nose? I don't know if that works. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, forehead. Are nose, you scared? Cheeks. No. Is, is she really licensed? Is she hot? Yes. What's definitely. Her, what, so what's her Instagram? Definitely. <laughs> Definitely check the license when don't you get it. Don't spit it on. Don't, don't check, say it other. Check your phone. Sending. Okay, sending now. I'm waiting. <clears throat> um, Have you ever had a facial? Before? I love that. I, I, I just <laughs> not, wanna, not from a girl. By a man. Yes. <laughs> I just. I love that everything that I named off was completely accurate. Absolutely. Um. He has a type. Holy yes. macaroni. All right. Yes. I need you to throw that my way. Nope. Sorry. You're white. <laughs> What Brian Brian isn't white anymore? No, I'm I'm, I'm he's Asian. A, I'm half Asian, dude. Yeah, he's the outsider, bro. Yeah, I I get a pass now. <laughs> you have an Asian pass because you eat ramen noodles <laughs> with fucking chopsticks. <laughs> Congratulations, ramen. That's how you eat ramen, dude. I don't. What I don't understand. No, you eat thirty nine cent packets That's of ramen. That's say. not true. <laughs> I get my ramen at the freaking Asian market. So dude. I will say she does not follow me. <laughs> okay. Just looked. Does not. Can confirm. Okay. So so what so, so what's your game plan here? Like you're gonna let her get a couple scrapes in before you start like, damn, your ass is fat. Or like how's that how, how are you going? Oh, subtle, sorry. Yeah, I'm not gonna go that hard. I don't know. I'll probably just be my dumb, stupid ass self and say something stupid and make her laugh. Oh, um, that's probably accurate. I I, I uh I love that everything that I was able to name off oh, was yeah. accurate because I've known you for how long now? About like uh, 12 years, something like that. Uh, and I know your type and I know how you came into this situation and I know how you think. Mm -hmm. So so mm -hmm. what's your what's your game plan when you walk in? Like, are you obviously like so she have like a shop that she does this out of or how does this work? She does it out of her house. She does it out of her house. Oh, so you're going to be already in her you're house. Already are you in. are you her only client that day? I don't know. Just I'm just asking for you know, if it turns into like a massage I mean, it's, or something. It's probably you know? like a 30 minute appointment. Maybe I'd say I have 20. So, so I will go back on everything you said is correct. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 But so I have. There was um, one lady I did talk to because I wanted to try it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I understand. You know, I, that. I want to clean my my pores and all that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not good at uh, skincare. <laughs> I'm in the sun all the time, so. I thought I'd try it. So I did actually message uh, one lady. That you about, know? Yeah, about like three months prior. Okay, just to kind of get was, like an idea. Just the price to see what it was. And she's like, yeah, for the first session, it was 150 And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm not paying $150 to have some lady. For, for half some, your face. Yeah, for some lady yeah. to scrape my face. So then I'd been following this girl. Um, she posted something on a story, huh? Yeah, she posted her business. Okay. And I was like, oh, she's... Super fucking hot. <laughs> I'm intrigued. <laughs> oh, and she's Mexican. Oh, and she has a fat ass. Oh, she has big tits. Oh, okay, why not? <laughs> so then I was like, and then she posted her her business page. So I was like, oh, she's an esthetician. Why not a perfect time to try and get in? Like I that? see. So I I admire. Did you think esthetician was some Latin name for no, something else? No, he like thought it hooker? was someone who rides horses. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> right. A, a I know, I know, idiot. I know what it is. I wasn't so sure. I know what it is. I play an idiot on the radio. I do know some shit. <laughs> so, so you, so you thought, fuck yeah, this is a perfect opportunity. I can, I can 
get in with the business side, right? And then maybe show her that I'm kind of goofy, right? And maybe I could take her out and on maybe a date. She'll like it, right? Yeah. yeah. Is, so is this the new strategy? Like as I like you this. find I don't females I mean, on Instagram, it's called Instagram. networking. It's I networking. Have, I have no. I mean. In reality, that's what it is. But for me, it was just kind of. How did you turn Instagram into your Tinder? That's I've what done. I was getting. I, I've at, been Bob. doing it. I don't know. I have. I've never used Tinder. I've never done dating apps. Like, but you have. It's just called Instagram. To you. <laughs> <laughs> right. And I will say, like, the success rate of it has actually been pretty high. I mean, I I so why I not can't continue? confirm. So I mean, it's been sliding in. I've I've made my little comments here and there. You're like, tee hee, that looks cute on you. Yeah. No, hard eyes, yeah. hard eyes. Hard eyes, yeah. Um, but, I mean, she'll respond back, and we'll talk a little bit, and then... Oh, so she that. knows you exist. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we talk a little bit. I feel like there's going to be an update here after the first session. This is... I, I know I know Brian's closing rate. It's closing. Pretty, my, what, is, what is your closing rate, sir? It's got to be. It's high. My biggest thing is, is, is most women on... I mean, you can see if, like, you DM a girl, and she responds, thanks. Like that's that's a wash. You just call it a wash. You move on. You slide into a lot of DMs, are you? I do too. Yeah, it works half the time. I, I, I would <laughs> it, I would say I've, I've I, it works half the time. Fifty percent, sixty percent time it works every time. Every yes. time, baby. Um, but no, yeah, it's like if a girl responds thanks, it's like eh, she's that's a wash. Move on. And so I don't know. Since my even since my my ex, it's just been like I'm I'm good. I'm chilling. I'm hanging out. I'm working a lot. I'm busy. And then she caught my eye, and not a lot of women like catch my eye. I mean, I can look at a female like, "Oh wow, she's hot," but this girl, I'm like, I'm intrigued. Oh, I want to know more. Okay. And so that's where I went with it. So you've been playing it coy. You've been slow playing this, right? You 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 checked because you got a flush happening, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah, I like so it. So just moving slowly, reference. see what happens. I figure, get in this way, get to know her, talk to her, and then. Played out by there. And, I like this, dude. I like this. I've used this strategy. I, I have a bold strategy. It is Cod. a very bold strategy. You're you're trusting a female that you is going to have a blade next to your face. <laughs> yeah, so I just, have to remember, your ass. I just have to remember not to say anything too stupid. You, Brian is the don't. next meat pie to come down the slide. <laughs> <laughs> don't say a goddamn thing until she's done doing yeah. the work. Yeah, you might want to wait for that one. But I mean, I'm sure we'll we'll strike conversation or whatever while it's happening, and and we'll see what happens. We'll go from there. I like that. Yeah, it's just just playing it smart, man. Going slowly, nice and smooth. Oh, you'll come out. Well, at least you know. your face will look good. Yeah, when you're not glistening, dude. You're gonna, gonna be. I'm gonna be fucking glowing. Are you gonna glowing. be more white than Mexican after this is done? I don't know how this works. Oh yeah, they'll scrape well, this, all that yeah, she's well, they the scrape brown. the Mexican off. She's scraping the brown off. She did say she's like, after this happens, like stay out of the sun for a few days. So I was like, I yeah. better get this done Friday. <laughs> so so what happens? Like, what if she slips and like razors your beard, dude? Are you gonna like lose your mind? No. I mean, it's just like nicking your face when you shave when that's, you're younger. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, it, it kind of throws <laughs> kind of. It's just yeah, like it throws you off a little bit, and then I, you just move on. I mean, Steve can't answer this question, but the three of us have had pretty large beards. No offense, Steve. I don't mean that in a no, bad Steve way. Steve was growing a good beard there he for actually, a while. You actually yeah, did have some good did, stubble and then going. You shaved and yeah. it pissed me yeah. off, yeah. you pussy dude. It's, and he's scratching. You dude, you gotta you dude. gotta moisturize it, dude. I, it, it, it was just not growing long and straight like like your guys. No, it's fine. Mine doesn't grow straight. No, he he straightens his. Yeah, I use. With the straightening iron, iron. yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah mine's wiry as fuck. Okay. I feel like that's a good drop for our for uh, man. Yeah, you, 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 no, or <laughs> or beer, or we can do a live read right now. Let's let's do it. All right, beard struggle, a place where <laughs> men can take care of all their beard needs. A brand that's inspired by Viking culture, from oils, tonics, creams to complete beard kits. Beard struggle has everything you need to keep your facial hair looking nice. Feast your face. Head over to beardstruggle.com and use offer code RAINMAN for a special discount courtesy of RAINMAN Digital. Professional. That was really good. So, yeah. So I will later in the year probably. When it gets colder? Right. Not when it gets colder, but like towards mid, late September-ish, I'll start to grow it back. And see I where think I get by like February because that, that's when I think you need to start now. Will be coming I think it, you, start, you now. start now. Start now. I think I you could grow a decent it. one. I think you grow a decent one. I think if you, if you did, what? Well, let me ask you this: What does Nicole think about it when you let it grow? She like it? She didn't. She didn't mind it too bad. There, Her thighs were warm. There's certain <laughs> lengths. It, it depends. So you have to get past that that first few months of like that that the real itchy, coarse, gross. Itchiness. Yeah, Th that was that wasn't a problem. I'm it, saying for her because that it, wasn't a problem for her. The problem for her is when it's this length or even shorter it when hurts. it's because it gets like that sandpapery yeah, it feel. Hurts. 
But I just trimmed it back with a one guard like two days ago or a day ago. It it was time. I, I, so Bob and I had this conversation the other day. I've been kind of knocking mine back to I think the length that it's at now. I don't think I'll let it get any longer because I feel like he's he. This is Bob's point. I feel like the beard has become this accessory. And there's multiple dudes that have it's it. It's makeup for men. It is. And it's like, I I mean, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I look, you've seen me without a beard. I look fucking awful. Like, so I, 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 disagree. My face I, I think, disagree. I think I look like shit. Like, so, but it has become this thing where, like, dudes who aren't that manly, let's air quote that, grow them and think that they're these badass dudes because they have a beard. And it's like, it's, it's a weird accessory now. Like, it's not, like, Bob had one before it was cool. Bob had one before I had one. Bob, Bob had one when it was disgusting. Bob, yeah. Bob was my inspiration to have one. Yeah. Like, at one point, I think at one point, we all had beards down to our chests. My yeah. beard's usually around my nipples. Yeah. So, like. Bob, I didn't have that. No, no, no. <laughs> but, like, I, I think, Brian, you remember when I had my big ass one. Mm-hmm. And then you had your the big one. I think there's yeah. a photo of all of us, actually. And now it's, like. I, I, I don't want a big beard anymore because, like, I feel like all the tools have Everyone them. Everyone has it. Yeah. I keep mine, I've kept mine like this for the better part of the, you know, between a one and a three guard length for at least four and a half years now. Yeah. And it's just strictly because if I, if I shave it back, which I've done a couple of times, that's when I just break out like crazy. Yeah. And this just is natural, and mm-hmm. it I don't have to shave. It's one less thing I have to dick around with. Yeah, see, like, for me, like, I just shave my cheeks, a little bit of my yeah, cheeks. Yeah, just trim it trim up. Trim cheeks and then, like, my neck. Because my yeah. neck's... You weren't on camera when you said cheeks, so I made sure to oh, flip it over yeah. so they knew you weren't showing your ass. <laughs> yeah, my ass cheeks. Um, So I, I just shave my cheeks. I shave... Uh, there's an arm in my... Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, I shave my neck because... I, I'm going to tell you guys right now. The neck is the fucking worst. I don't know how people let their beard grow onto their neck area down here because, like, it, when it's, like, stubble or what, it gets caught in my shirt, and it's the worst fucking feeling. I don't know if you have But that it doesn't problem. bother you on I your only, shoulders. I only have, like, two, <laughs> I have two little hairs, like... You. <laughs> can, can you lift your... It doesn't bother you me on my ass, up, either. Brian, is there... Uh, yeah, he's he's got it where it's, like, just well, on Well, he's the, still no, got he's, some neck really action well. going on. Yeah, but he doesn't go down to here. No, I don't. It's not connecting to his chest there. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah no. mine used to. <laughs> Fucking so, look like a Wookiee. We, we've talked a lot about... <laughs> talked a lot about man scaping. Yes. And keeping up with appearances. And Brian wants to get his face scraped by a big booty Latina chick. <laughs> A-Rod has announced Dude. a concealer line. Dude. Wait, what? A night's controversy around men wearing makeup. <sighs> oh. So like Marilyn Manson. That's uh, now. No. This is like straight up concealer. On Thursday, the 45-year-old baseball legend shared several photos to his Instagram. One of him just posing with a beaming smile. Another showing him using a, a blur stick by a company, Hims, the wellness brand that gives men, affordable hair, vitamin, mental health, skin products, and more. He is coming up with a whole line of makeup. How do you guys uh, feel on that all right, one? All right, let me go first. Like, Because honestly, and this is not a, uh, like, I'm not like doing weird flex stuff. The, the four of us have held up pretty well. Um, as what? far as our age okay, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and our looks compared look, look to other good. people our age. <laughs> That's very true. You know, so. Um, okay. Let me let me give my my two cents or my only opinion. And I'm obviously I'm speaking for myself here. Bitch. <laughs> um, Sorry. Sorry. I, I, I guess I'm going to I'm going to kind of relate this to something else. So obviously I am a 35 year old man. I am balding in the back. I just recently shaved my head because, and I had a decent. Can I bick your head? I've already done that before. It's not like I know, but I wanted it. Uh, that's weird. Mm-hmm. But I want a straight razor. Maybe if head. someone he also wanted a straight razor my face to that's line up so, my beard. I don't so, know what his deal so, is. What is your deal with that? Are, are you, I, Mr. Are, you gonna stand, are you going to stand behind me and do it like in Ghost? Yes. Okay, like we're going to get and like they a come po- from the top. And... Yeah. Is you just want that satisfaction? Then licks of, the blood just, off the blade. Oh god, it's awful. Um. Okay. Anyways, I 
I have a couple. Th- I, I, I have, I'm 50 50 on this. If a man wants to wear makeup because it makes him feel better about himself, then I'm all for it. Self love. Yeah, same thing. Same thing with like guys wearing toupees, or now they have that thing you you can glue on your head. Like if you're insecure about your hair, you Isn't can. Isn't that also a toupee? A toupee? Yeah, well, yeah, it is, but it's it's they, they have a different. <laughs> it's name called my for hat. It. It, it's well, it's a different name. Yeah, it's a hat basically, but it, there's a different name for it. Merkin. It, it, I yeah, I don't know what it's called. But, Jerkin or gherkin. Um, I I don't have a problem with this because, and I think that's just because like. In today's day and age, it's like, who gives a shit? If you feel good about yourself doing it, then why is it a bad thing? I think the other half of me is like, I would never wear makeup. And 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 like I say that as like not as not cosplay. Obviously, I've worn makeup for cosplay and stuff, but that's different. So I, I don't know. Like if, I, if it, here's here's my take. If you had a, a thing, because I'm reading through this, right? Yeah. I'm reading through this article on Yahoo Life. And razor bumps, you know, we were just talking about shaving, yeah. right? You, you know, sometimes people get them. Do I don't get, get that them, little yeah. bit of razor burn or yeah. whatever, and 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 you're trying to get ready before, like, let's say you're going to a wedding or you're going out. You're or trying something. to look good. You're trying to look good, and then that shit happens. Yep, it's one of those things where you almost wish you would have done it earlier in the day to give your to give skin time some time to settle. to settle and and be ready. So I could see that. But now you're going to get into this routine, right? And we've all it's seen the ladies. And, and, thank, and thank you, ladies, that you do this uh, for, for yourselves. For us so we can and, flop and, around and, on you during sex? Uh, no, that's not where I was going. But, oh, you know. That's where I went. But, but then you get in this routine where now you're buying even more things uh, and, and you have to use it yep. or it goes bad because mm-hmm. it'll it'll mold or whatever the whatever happens to it. <laughs> whatever happens to whatever makeup. Happens to makeup. We don't know. And, We're and, dudes. And so now you're spending more money on this. Now you got to get in this routine. You got to wash that shit off before you go to bed, or else it's going to be all in your pores. And and now you're going to have to. Have special it just becomes removers, another extra thing that you got. More do. cleansers. You got to. I don't like shaving. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I'm wh- saying. It just seems like a lot of work. That's why. So I mean, that's why I stopped. Sh- that's why I grew a beard. I hated shaving. I had to shave constantly all the time. Yeah. It was a pain in the ass. Bob had an awesome beard. I wanted it. So I was just like, that's what I'm going for. Yeah. That's it. I just, I, I guess for me, like, I can understand. I can understand it. And I'm, I'm agreeing with Steve. Like, I, as I've gotten older, my routine has gotten a little bit longer. Just because, like, you know. Oh, mine's gotten less. See, mine, mine's gotten longer <laughs> because it's, like, I put moisturizers on my tattoos so they look vibrant still. So, like, and my, for my skin. But, but that's also because I made an investment, right, on, well, art, yeah, on artwork. Yeah, yeah. So then, like, otherwise, you know, I'll, I'll trim my neck hair. You know, I'll do just, you know, put some beard cream in just to make sure my beard smells good and not like a fucking bird's nest. Um, sure. But otherwise, like, it's gotten a little <laughs> so bit longer. So it doesn't smell like my pubes. So it doesn't smell like my asshole. Um, oh. Wait, what? Is that weird? Um, <laughs> it is weird. Who's I, ass I, I you eat? So. Two <laughs> questions there. How do you smell your own asshole? And then how do you smell your face? Have, have, you, never, have you never wiped Hot your hair? yoga. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I just, I feel like, I understand this. I feel like, um, but at the same time, I would never do it. I also feel like A-Rod has been in the limelight and on TV for so long that he's probably had makeup put on him, obviously, to be on TV for, like, what is it? Uh, what baseball show was he on? Um, he's on ESPN right he, now. Oh, he's on ESPN now? Because I know he's on, like, baseball. He was on network. Fox. Fox, that's right. Yeah. So I, I know, look, guys, I know that you want to say that everyone on TV doesn't put makeup on, but trust me. They all do. I all put makeup on. It's for the cameras. It's a thing. So I feel like A-Rod, you know. He's used to it. He's used to it. So like, And I he's a whore, he, so he's making and he's, money and off And he's of. fucking chicken, ch- chickens? He's fucking chicken. Look at all these chickens. Look at all these chickens. I'm fucking. Um, no. So chicken I fe- fucker. Chicken fucker. <laughs> um, I feel like I understand this then with him. Um, and I understand like why he would promote this. So I, I don't have a problem with it. I-, I think if a dude wants to wear makeup that makes him feel better about himself, then fucking go for it, dude. I don't have any. I mean, like I said, I'm a I'm a 35 year old bald guy because and I shaved a decent head of hair off because. Look, I I'm think balling. all of us have our own little routines. I've got moisturizers, I got cleansers, I've got mask peels, anal bleaching, I've got anal, all, I don't know any that. anal I've beads. got all those kinds of things. But I have those. As I've gotten older, I use that stuff once in a blue moon at best, and I literally mean like I can't even remember the last time I used like. What about what about men getting their nails done? I got a pedicure about no, a month no, ago. No, no, no pedicure's no, not no, the same. No. Like I'm, actually I'm getting actually like a, getting their actual nails done, like with clear fuck shit on. 
What are you about that? I had him put clear coat on my nails. Steve, I'm gonna smack on my, the on my, fuck uh, out of you. No, so here's what happened. Stop here's avoiding what the happened. question. No, 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 no. I'm not. I don't. I'm talking about men actually getting fake nails. Oh, that's yeah. No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. No, I had him put a clear coat on my toenails when I got my pedicure what like if, a month ago. And what if you got like a K, the rapper rock artist now? Now he's not a rapper anymore because Eminem killed that career. So right. he went to rock and roll. So he's now at rock and roll. He's dating Megan Fox. He's now also oh that guy uh, Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah, 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 that guy. He's bringing out uh, a unisex brand for nails for men. Isn't all nail stuff unisex? I mean, yeah, it kind of is, isn't it? Theoretically, but I, you know <laughs> what I would he's do? Entering I, the beauty world. Look, I wouldn't get my nails done, but I might get my pinky done so I could have like a booger hook. Oh, I thought right. was, so. You could do coke. That up. is fuck. <laughs> that's, that's a coke nail, dude. Yeah. Well, I don't. Sorry, guys. I've never done coke, so well, it would be a booger so, hook for me. So the problem that happened with getting a clear sugar? coat is I I stub my toe on my coffee table. Ow. And I didn't think anything of it. It didn't feel good. Yeah. But then the toenail the nail split. Yep. And because the clear coat was there, it kept it Saved held together. Nail? Well, sort of. It then chipped off a whole chunk of it. Oh, and so I went and got the Nichols polish remover, and I took it all off because it's Fuck too it. risky now. Fuck I it. just, I, I like, I liquid nail. Yeah, I, 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 I get it. Too I, I don't think it bugs me anymore. I think at this point, I've seen enough shit in my 35 years of living on Earth that you know, if a dude wants to wear some makeup, then fucking more power to the dude. Yeah, I couldn't care less. Yeah. I'm just saying, for me, but it's I'm not doing so it. much extra work. I'm a whore. If somebody wants to donate like $100, I'll do the next fucking show in Look, makeup. Guys, if you donate $100, <laughs> I'll do Bob's makeup, and he'll do my makeup, and I'll wear makeup. I, no, I want my makeup done right. We're going to bring in Nicole, and I want some circus <laughs> makeup done. <laughs> some circus so makeup. So you want to look like a clown. Yes. I swear to God, if you come in looking like a clown, I will punch you hey, in the I, face. Hey, I've Bob, done... Bob will never come in looking hey, like a clown. Just, he can't deal with just that. Just so you guys know, I did Steve's fucking... Uh, he did Joker makeup. makeup. Yeah. yeah, he looked like a, a real clown. Yeah, I hate clowns. Yeah. Really? Not as much as Bob. Oh, no. yeah, Bob fucking. Dude. I I have a fear. So guys, Same. have you guys ever thought Bob hates clowns but loves the Joker? Uh, don't stop. We, the, the, you and Deb have tried to ruin this for me. It doesn't work. <laughs> so I, I I talked a little. What bit. a cynical fuck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I I talked a little bit earlier about us looking good for our age. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I'm gonna fin- I think we're gonna finish the show off with this one. Okay. And how? What age do you think you could pull off, Brian? Like legitimately, shaver, uh, just whatever. Like, what is the youngest you think you can look? Oh, 18. Okay. If really? I sh- if I shaved. Really? Yeah. Huh. Okay. Uh, well, Ryan, I'm not shaving, so <laughs> I'm not shaving. <laughs> um. I think uh, we're I've hypothetically had, I, speaking. No, no, no I, I've had someone tell me I look 26, 27. Was your hat on? Yeah, it was on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hat off. Um, 43. <laughs> 43, <laughs> probably. Um, no, no, I, I, I've had someone tell me I look 26, which I thought was, I was, thank you very much. That's nine years from what I am. So um, that's a win. Yeah, and then, I, but, right but like back like a couple years ago, I had someone tell me, tell me I look like I was 24. So I was like, that was like two years ago. I was like, damn. Okay, um, I'll take that. Okay. So, yeah, I would say 26. Steve? 53. No, I think Steve <laughs> could pull off the youngest out he of could. all of us. I think he could, if, too. If I, shave, if I shaved and got... And he two. had his long hair. You still have your long hair? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he can absolutely pull off. When, yeah, when my hair is longer... Again. I want to fuck you. <laughs> when my hair is longer, <laughs> it makes me look younger. Yep. So, I don't know what it is, but I don't know. I bet I could... Dude, you look early to mid. When you did Eric from True Blood, you look twenty two. Spot on. He looked yeah. twenty two. Spot on too. You know what though, dude? That when when I did that, Ryan, do the math on that, buddy. That was over a decade I, ago. I'm aware. Yeah, but so, you weren't twenty two. No, but I was <laughs> closer was 42, than I am yeah. now. <laughs> I just, I did. I, I those pictures popped up recently, and I was like, God damn, dude. Yeah. I looked young. Yes, you did. And uh, I was also in the best shape of my life at that point. Yes, you were. At so this 30-year-old mother was arrested posing as her daughter at a Texas oh. middle school. Send me a link. It's in the notes. Oh, my God. Uh, Casey Garcia, whose jail records show as 4'11". What does that make her, Brian? Legally a midget. And <laughs> Wait, weighs <really>? on... <laughs> 
It weighs 105 pounds, was arrested on one count of criminal trespass and tampering with government records, the El Paso County Sheriff's Office What's said. her name? What's her name? Uh, her name is Casey Garcia. Casey. And how old is she in reality? She is 30, and she was posing as a 13-year-old. I want to know who was fucking dumb enough. A YouTube... Video titled Why I Posed as My 13 Year Old Daughter, a Raw But Real Answer. Uh, she said she dyed her hair and used a skin tanner to pose as the girl. Garcia said after she was asked for her ID number at the school and whether she signed in, she was allowed in. She said school staff was more concerned about her phone being out than who she actually was. Oh my God. I mean, with the mask on and her hoodie up, she kind of does look like her daughter that's crazy why would you do that but why what's the what's the what why what was the end game i guess I, like was she doing she an was article? going back she was doing an article for a magazine you God. know like that <laughs> damn it you were already beating me too <laughs> I, knew, I knew that's where you were gonna go uh, i don't know why why would you go pose as your daughter i'm trying to maybe she's trying to bang she the, says in the youtube video I'm not going to watch the whole YouTube video. She's going to try to bang the, the high, the, the homecoming king. In fairness, she she looks rather young just... In general, just right? In yeah. general. Like, look, not knocking on, like, her. She does look young, and I guess if you are a fucking midget, a fidget, <laughs> um, uh, you could probably buy it off, but she her face is a little round for a 13-year-old, unless she's going to grow up to be a six-foot-tall... Like I supermodel at one point, I don't. I don't think she's grown anymore. I think she's kind of stuck at that height. But I just so I, according to the chat, it says People Magazine says it was to test security. Like so, she I did it for the kids. I did. I got. We got to get she these keys. She says it was a social experiment. Yeah. How do I reach these keys? <laughs> I, I expose <laughs> the dangers of our schools. Yeah. Because you posed as a little girl and had a. ID and everything to go along with it. Uh, uh, it did it seem psycho? Yeah. Who could? Uh, Brian, uh, Brian, find her Instagram, see if she wants to date. Oh my goodness. Wait, is you she already local? looking? He's looking right now. Is she local? El Paso's El Paso? local enough. That's, f- that's real close. It's right across New Mexico. <laughs> that's not that far of a drive. <laughs> it's right it's down the long street. enough. <laughs> Come on. Brian Come on, would Brian. do it. Are you looking for her Instagram? Yeah, you told me to. I, I well, <laughs> it's an audio show too. I need verification. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you told me to. I I uh, I mean, I guess I sort of understand testing the security. Does this look like her? Does this look like her? Oh, Did, hold on. I mean, you know, this broad's going to show up on OnlyFans. In that that might be four her. to six weeks. That does kind of look like her. Hit follow. <laughs> Hit follow. <laughs> you You're going to drop in the DMs. You requested. You requested. I, you have to request I mean, a she's, follow. She's. Yeah, I hope she. I hope you slide in the DMs and it works out for you. Yeah, I appreciate you, dude. Uh, well, dude, I'm. Did you ever guys see what, what movie was it with Steve Buscemi where he's like, "What are all the fellow Hello, kids?" Fellow kids. kids. <laughs> yeah, uh, isn't that one that of- would be me going to a junior high trying to fit in? Hello, fellow youths. <laughs> uh, isn't that from? Uh, what is that from? Is that from Thirty Rock? Uh, I don't know. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, well, but uh, testing security and now you're going to jail and how embarrassing would it be for your daughter like uh, how i don't know how i would talk to my dad and be like dad can you not go to the yeah how do you oh my god dad can you please not go to my school dressed as me please for the love of christ dad this is my underwear oh my god. i don't know there's money in it if your dad goes to to school there's Dressed m- like you. I, I, I mean, would pay yeah. money to see Terry do that. Oh, my that ain't God. That would be hilarious. Oh. She cute. I was like, wait a minute. I was did like, you instantly get? No. Did oh, she? Oh, I, I was you... like, she added you right <laughs> yeah, back? Yeah, it was Damn. instant from prison. I was like, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. But, I'm she... a new pen pal. <laughs> <laughs> Logical I, I, visits. I, I, obviously, they're not concerned about her phone either in prison at this point if she's back on Instagram. That's following. true. She used her prison wallet. Would you do conjugal visits with her, Brian? Sure. <laughs> Brian Brian's willing to do just about anything. Uh, yeah, yeah. We should have a game where I just ask Brian questions and see when he actually says no. I, I think we need I to have, think a we game need to have we, that game. I think we need a game where we find him a, a lady in prison that he can have conjugal visits with. Uh, okay. 
<laughs> yeah. So, uh, would that be prison people meet? Yeah, that would be. What would that be? Is there an oh, app for this? App? There would be. Up. There has to be an app. That would. Be, well, right it, that would be technically it could still be grinder, but you'd have to put an e in there, right? Because grinders. Wait, I don't. Why is there no? Never mind. It's prison pleasure pals. Pl- pl- no. dot com. It's prison break. <laughs> they bought it from Fox. <laughs> <laughs> the newest. The newest thing the newest in prison show. sex. <laughs> Conjugal visits. Do you do you want sex without any of the commitment? Go to prisonbreak.com and sign up today. <laughs> Swipe right on your favorite convict. <laughs> Conjugal visits every four to six weeks. Hey, it only takes is, a body cavity search, but you get a, laid. There is a dating app for Latinas. What's that one called? Eight Street Latinas? Chispa. <laughs> Okay, so one super. I asked you to look up prisons. Dude, and I'm you fa- looking it up right now. I and in and you apps. went to Latin. Did you look up Latin prisoners? Central. Yeah, last name was Garcia, dude. What do you want me to do? Oh my God! <laughs> it should be called. So someone in in the, in the chat on Twitch said jailbirds. Ooh, that's freaking perfect. Jailbirds equal lovebirds. <laughs> <laughs> super like for your. F- for your very own conjugal visit. So how, like, if you're in prison, how would you sign up? Like, that's what you would use well, your, so your free time with? Yeah. Well, well, I think when you have visitors, you'd have to, like, talk to your visitor, well, like, hey. Clearly, you, know. you can't have, like, Mac. There, there's no, no, no you can. Security. Brian, you've watched 60 Days In with me. Facts. You can, you can check out tablets and stuff. Yeah, obviously it's not maximum security okay. convicts. That well, are it's like, more like Orange is the New Black. Yeah, kind of prison. yeah. I, mean, I don't know. They're, they're, they're some all chicks hot on lesbians. That show. There's say some hot chicks on that show, dude. Brian ends up with crazy eyes. Just start scissoring, dude. What's French, the main French chick's name? I, I haven't watched that show. Uh, What's the main girl's name? The blonde. Uh, I don't know, but the, that '70s show chick shows her boobies. Wait, what? Laura Pepper? Yeah, that shows her really titties. Laura. Like in the first five minutes of the show. What show? Orange, Orange is the New Black. Black. She has a shower sex scene. No shit. She's scissoring. There's a lot. A, a, a Ruby Rose is in that one, too. Yep. There's a oh, lot. Oh, yeah. Of, I, I forgot about it. I knew she was in that. Nudity. Yeah. No, there's a lot Taylor of Taylor Schilling. That's the main. That's character. it. That's the main. Yeah, but that's not her character's name. No, no. I just didn't. I, uh, Piper. 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 <laughs> I would never name my daughter Piper. <laughs> She'll end up in prison. I, I think this is a great idea. We need to. Can we copyright this? Can we make I'm, this? I'm sure it's out there. If we like. what Prison what, dating. What is the the rule? Rule thirty four. Oh yeah. Don't talk about Fight Club. It, yes. Don't talk about Fight Club. Um, <laughs> well, you guys fail. Yeah, we already blew that. You so. guys fucked that up. Well, we will get Brian signed up for the prison dating app and get him some <laughs> conjugal visits, <laughs> and uh, we will report back on that. But we've met our time here. We're at our hour point. I want to thank everybody for joining us for our first live yes, show. Yes, yes. Thank you, guys. And we will be back, like I said, at least every other week, if not more. But Rayman Digital itself will be broadcasting more on Twitch. Thank you for everybody that's followed. Thank you to everybody that listened live. Remember, if you want to support the show, you can go to patreon.com slash Rayman Digital. You can hear Circle of Jerks first. Support us for the dollar tier. We're cheap. We're a cheap date. I'm a cheap we're, slut. We're entertaining. I'm a fucking whore. I'll do it for free. Don't Whoa. say that. that doesn't get us money. Yeah, you can't. Brian say will that. do it for free, but the three of us cost a dollar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, between thirty three cents between yeah. us and Brian's a penny. Yeah, they're yep. selfish. So he's the cheapest one of us all. He is. But uh, with that, we will say good night and see you later. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah.